this is a simple 8042 based little demonstration board that I threw together. I can use it for other stuff because the overall platform can be easy ad easily adapted to other applications. I'm using the 8042 in external access mode running off the EEPROM and have the one of the output ports latched with this latch here to provide eight usable outputs which the self-test program I've got on it just produces an incrementing number that every time it reaches full count and resets increases the time delay factor on the time delay routine so as it continuously counts away the speed of the count is slowly reduced until it just drops down to a literal crawl everything as I said this is just a little little demonstration board here I threw together to show that NATO 42 can be used to produce usable outputs you could as four usable inputs and the other 12 outputs pretty much restricted to direct output when operated in this mode but you can use it for programmable timer or whatever else lots of opportunities either that or you could implement serial communications with a couple, some of the usable in out ports or whatever as you see when I reset the board or reset the program to the start count is really fast until it goes through several iterations and then it drops down steadily in speed to where even the lower bits become discernible and their count speed and these here is the low order bits to the high order bits there bit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and it's currently running a 3 point some megahertz crystal if um, yeah 3.5 megahertz crystal right it's running I like the 8042 because the fact that you don't need any address latch to run it off of the external EEPROM even though there ain't as many usable output ports in operating it in that mode it's just two chip solution to achieve a usable device from a permanently programmed chip while the 8048 on the other hand or 8049 or the 8051's you have to have an address latch to discern the high and low order bits of the address but you get the usability of a full data bus which you can hook normal Intel compatible peripherals to it and obtain computer like standard processor like functionality blah blah take care see you later